What up, Joe Burgers? Today we're at Market Theatre for the exhibition of Boza Sisi. So let's go in and see what they have for us. So, Boza Sisi is an ongoing project about women street hairstylists um, in Johannesburg CBD, and I've covered in also in Maputo. Um, just looking at how women position themselves in different intersections, um, how they group themselves, how they navigate urban spaces. So I don't know if you've noticed when you walk around Bree and Tolnuart, you see like clicks of women that do hair, always calling Moza Sisi, come do our hair. And I'm just interested in how they make up the city. I mean, I treat them as infrastructures, part of the buildings and everything. Um, so yeah, it is just about hairstylists in Joburg CBD. So I chose to photograph women in the CBD doing work. I think I've always been interested in women's stories and what grabbed my attention, besides the fact that they always called me was CC, was just how um, they always, like they're hustlers, they're women, they're mothers, and how they're out in Johannesburg trying to make a living. So I'm all about, I guess, women empowerment. And I was just, yeah, it grabbed my attention. It, it's a lot of them. I, it was an interesting story, story to tell. And I think that's why I got interested. And also looking at my love for doing hair. I used to do hair in high school a lot. And yeah, I used to charge 20 bucks for cornrows. So I mean, that's, I think that's what also intrigued the whole thing of photographing women in the streets of Johannesburg. Just being interested about who, where they come from and just making a living for their families. The reason I came to the Was Assisi exhibition tonight is obviously I'm a big lover of hair um, and ethnic hair in particular. And also, I was also interested in the conversation around how hairstylists negotiate their way through, you know, um, you know, some of them work through like really hard conditions, they work on the side of the road, um, and just how as females they negotiate that space. So yeah, that's really interesting to me. I'm looking forward to seeing some great art, obviously, and how the artist herself um, interprets, um, you know, the topic of hair, and also just how, because I know that she's, she worked in Mozambique as well, so how that comes across in the work as well. So. Why do I think uh, hair is such a touchy topic when it comes to women? Um, I think because of um, how social media um, plays a role in that we are always fed how women should look, how we should act, um, and we're not really shown how to be proud of the way that our hair is. So I think that's why, because of you know media stuff. Market Road to Workshop um, was created as an institution to teach photography to young people who would not ordinarily have access to photography training. This is because photography training is prohibitively expensive and in other instances it takes a very long time for, for someone to complete um, a degree or diploma in photography. So the Market Road to Workshop came up with short courses for people who might not have the time or the funds. What makes us different as an institution is that we, besides offering our, our students um, access to equipment while they, are st while they are studying with us, we also focus a lot on narrative photography. That it's very important for our students to understand that the point of photography is not just to take uh, pretty pictures, but to tell stories, to tell people stories, to, to deal with issues through photography. Simply because photography, as long as someone can see, is something that's easy to communicate a message or, or whatever issue that you might like to talk to. I hope you guys had as much fun as I did from myself, Osletu and Jovu and the Jobic TV team. See you guys next time.